Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I finished basic assembly on the dodecahedron frame. Kitty. Barb Makes Things! Last time I injured myself on the belt sander a bit. Much better now. No sanding my fingers this time. Not gonna happen. Being careful. This is, I think, a better orientation for sanding these blocks. Well, I didn't get my finger. I got my nail. Guess I'll be trimming it down. Dead of the way of my finger, so uh, that's good. I had glued the first pentagon for the next section, but getting bounced around without the supports, it broke. So I re-glued it. Added a missed corner support. These, by the way, are doing a good job of keeping the frame secure. Now, the assembly of the remainder of the dodecahedron frame was going to be tricky, and there were a number of ways to do it, many involving a large quantity of clamps and hours. If I were going to just glue it all together, it wouldn't be a problem, but I wanted to be able to take the other part off. See, I want to put electronics inside. Did I mention that before? Servos or steppers or solenoids or something, so it can eventually play itself. And being able to get at the inside will be important. Thus, two separate parts. To get an idea of how well the rest of this would line up, I dry fit the remaining parts. They weren't dead on, but they were close enough. So I decided to trust my jigs and glue the remaining five pieces onto that new pentagon. More clamps! Need more clamps! Urgh. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Giant clamps aren't very useful until they are very useful. I took the two parts and clamped them in place to add screws. Alright, I'm gonna try to drill in here, make a small pilot hole that goes part way into this piece, and then put a screw in to hopefully hold this. And I can't find the countersink bit, so I'm just gonna do a slight larger hole at the beginning. This is not a convenient angle. Nor is this a convenient place for this thing. Here, okay, that should be sufficient. Ooh, that far. Oh, pretty much the whole way. Okay, let's try it. It's into the second piece. Ah, went through it. So, most of the way in. Not quite all the way. I am screwing it in by hand. Let's see. You're not long enough. Ooh, are you one of five eights? You're one of five eights. Let's try you. That's staying. Excellent. Day. This is the frame for the dodecahedron. The frame needs a bit of planing and sanding, maybe a little tweaking, but this is one of those satisfying moments where you see a big chunk of a really big project come together. And the more of those there are, the easier it is for others to understand what you're trying for. I'm gonna take next week off since I'll be traveling for Thanksgiving, but I'll see you back here the Tuesday after that for my next video. It may involve the Downtown LA Mini Maker Fair since that's coming up on December 1st and I will be all over that. There's actually a video interview with me that I linked to down there, so check it out. If you like this video, share it with a friend. You didn't? Mm. It's a dodecahedron on my head! Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yes, it looks like a D12. No, you can't roll it.